in this video we will look at one of the other expressions in particular we will look at the third one which is uh, int star mat 5. Okay. So, if I had written int array 5 this means that array is an integer array of size 5 right. So, similarly I can read this as star mat is an integer array of size 5. Okay. So, in other words mat is a pointer to an array of size 5 array of ints of size 5. Okay. We can look at it in this way and let us see what this really means. So, we can pictureize in this way uh, if you dereference mat that is if you take star mat you will get some array of size 5 of integers. Now, let us look at the picture. So, mat may be pointing to some uh, array of size 5 which means that the, uh, the next subsequent location uh, will be another array of size 5 if it is if it is a valid address. Now, for the first location we can refer to it as mat 0 0 or it is the same as star mat of 0 or it is the same as star star mat. So, remember the general um, formula that we had was may if I have the notation mat i j I can look it up as star mat so, first let me translate mat i. So, that we have seen that this is simply dereferencing mat plus i that address. So, now we have one more subscript. So, in order to decode that I will uh, do the formula for a second time. So, this plus j. So, remember that this is the general form. So, similarly uh, if we have mat 0 0 I can write it as star mat of 0 or I can write it as star star mat because i and j are both zeros. So, this is just a special case of the general formula. Okay. So, mat plus 1 points to the second row of 5 integers. So, remember that uh, the, the type of my mat is it is a pointer to an array of size 5 of integers. So, the next pointer location when you do mat plus 1 goes to the next array of size 5. So, mat plus 1 is another array of size 5 in particular it may be the second row of a 2 dimensional array where you have 5 columns. Mat plus 2 will be similarly uh, the third row and so on. So, mat 2 3 for example, if you apply the formula you it, it will come out to be star of star of mat plus 2 plus 3. Okay. Notice that all boxes are allocated in this example. Now, mat plus i points to the ith row of 5 integers and uh, star mat is an array of size 5. Okay. This is what we have seen. Now, you can uh, in order to get comfortable with the notation you can look at these uh, formulas and try to decode. Like for example, you could try what is the uh, what is the pointer way uh, arithmetic way of representing the location mat 1 1. So, you can see that uh, it is definitely uh, the first case where it is star of star mat plus 1. So, that is definitely true because this is just the formula that we just now discussed, but uh, if uh, if I do not decode uh, both the subscripts I decode only one subscript using pointer arithmetic and leave the other subscript as it is then I know that it is also the equivalent to 3. So, 3 is also another way of representing it. Okay, and try to convince yourself why the second is not correct. Now, let us understand this in somewhat more detail by uh, considering a tricky question. We have a function uh, int search. So, here is the function int search int a int n int key. Okay. So, what does this function do? It will search for key inside array a of size n a is an array with n elements and you have to search for it search inside for it for the element key. 
if it is found then you return uh, the index where it is found if it is not found you return minus 1 because minus 1 can never be a valid index in an array. So, when you return minus 1 you know that it is not present in the array. Now, can we use this uh, function to search inside a 2 D array. Okay. Uh, so, we are using a one dimensional function in order to search inside a 2 D array. Now, the basic idea is that we can search row by row each row of a two dimensional array is somewhat like a one dimensional array. So, we will call uh, search multiple times once for each row in the array until we either find it or we are done with all rows. The algorithm is uh, search it row by row. Now, the question is which of the following is actually doing that. So, we have three expressions search mat plus 1 phi key search star of mat plus 1 5 key and search mat of 1 5 key okay. which of these uh, will do it. Now, let us look at uh, second okay. mat is pointing to um, an array of size 5 therefore, mat plus 1 is also a pointer to an array of size 5 when we dereference that we get an array of size 5. So, that is the right type. So, the first argument to search uh, the second statement will be an array of size 5. So, therefore, the second call is valid. What about the third call again uh, mat of 1 is simply star of mat plus 1 if you translate into pointer arithmetic. So, the third line is just the second line in disguise instead of using pointer arithmetic notation we are using subscript notation. So, 2 and 3 in fact are equivalent. So, 2 is correct therefore, 3 is also correct. Now, think about why uh, statement 1 does not make sense. So, mat plus 1 is actually a pointer to an array of size in size 5. Therefore, it is not the right type it is not an array of size 5 it is a pointer to an array of size 5. Okay. Uh, so, it is not the correct type and therefore, the first call is not valid. The first uh, option is a bit delicate. So, I would encourage you to stop here and think about why it is not correct. Okay, now, let us uh, utilize the function in order to write uh, our routine to search inside a 2 D array. So, uh, once again we are utilizing a one dimensional search routine in order to search inside a two dimensional array. So, let us say that we are given this int search function which can search inside a one dimensional array for a key. Now, I will write a 2 D function uh, a function which can search inside a 2 D array. Now, the correct declaration of the function would be int star mat 5 okay. int uh, n rows n a key n rows is going to be the number of key uh, rows in the array uh, key is the key we are searching for and int star row and int star column. So, uh, I want to focus on the first argument and the last two arguments. The first argument says that I will pass you uh, a pointer to an array of size 5. Okay. This is exactly what we should uh, do because then uh, a two dimensional array can be just uh, traversed by using mat plus 1, mat plus 2 and so on. So, here is the correct type declaration that should accompany uh, the 2 D search routine n rows is just the number of rows key is the key. Why are we saying in star row and in star column? We want to return two things if a key is found we want to return its row index and its column index. Now, unfortunately uh, a function can return only one value. So, how will you return two values? So, we will say that okay, we will not return uh, uh, two values what we will do is give me a pointer and I will write you uh, and I will write in that address the correct row and the correct column if it is found. Okay. So, here is a standard way in C uh, where you might encounter a situation where you need to enter uh, return two values and instead what you pass are the pointers. The algorithm is what we have discussed before you check each row of mat using the function search if uh, search returns uh, success then that will be the column index in that row 
because search is searching inside a 1D array. So, wherever it returns that will be the column index in the ith row. So, now you say that the column index is that and the row index is the i that I had. If it is not found in any of the rows you return minus 1. Okay, so, let us write the function. Um, we have uh, an i to go traverse through the rows. We have uh, found equal to 0 this will be the, the flag indicating whether the key is found or not. And initially you just set star row equal to minus 1 and star column equal to minus 1 to indicate that I have not yet found it found the key. Now, you write the main loop which is going through the rows one by one. You start with row 0 and you go on until both these conditions are true that is you have not seen all the rows i is less than n rows and you have not found the key. So, not found. Okay. What should you do for to the ith row? Uh, I should say that search the ith row. So, the way I say it is search star of mat plus i this is the same as saying search mat of square bracket i comma 5 which is the number of columns and key which is the key that I want to search for. The return value is stored in star call. Okay, so, it is store you dereference call and uh, ret store the return value there. Now, search can return either you uh, if the key is found it will return the correct column index or it will return minus 1. So, you just check for that if column uh, if star column is a non negative number then you say that okay, it has been found. So, you say that the row is i. So, star row is i and found is now 1. So, at the next iteration you will exit out of the loop because found you have found the key. And then uh, the last statement in the loop will be just to increment the i variable. Finally, uh, if you have done with all the rows uh, and if you have exited out of the while loop, you check whether you exited out of the while loop because you exhausted all the rows. So, there are two conditions to exit the while loop one is i is greater than or equal to n rows that is one condition. The second is that found equal to 1. If you exited because found equal to 1 then you can return uh, the correct value without any problem. If you exited be before uh, you if you if all the rows were exhausted and you still did not find the key then you have to say that uh, column is minus 1. Okay, so, here is a brief code which will do this. So, this code uh, utilizes our understanding of two dimensional arrays as basically an array of uh, point as, as a pointer to an array of size 5. And here is why the number of columns is important because in order to do mat plus 1 correctly we need to know how many bytes to skip. Okay. And this is crucially dependent on the number of columns the number of rows actually does not matter because you can keep on incrementing the rows as long as the array is valid. The number of columns is important because that is how you get to the next row. 